<laughs> well, we, I just was told that the show has got to be ending now. And you go, because the Jews have to go to get something to eat, and the Gentiles have to go for a drink. And then, you know, everybody else is going to go. Into, nobody goes to drink or eat. Now the trend is to go to Starbucks. It's so not a phony, fraudulent organization at Starbucks. <laughs> Charge you three, four, five dollars for a cup of coffee. Point coffee in a cardboard cup, five out for. Across the street, it's a dollar and a quarter for fresh coffee. Nobody goes there. Starbucks became trendy. So people are happy to spend three and a half, four dollars for a cup of coffee in Starbucks. It's point coffee. If it's, you get this point coffee in a coffee shop, they say, yuck, it's point coffee. <laughs> but it's point coffee in Starbucks, people love it. They, they leave their brain someplace else. Once they drink in Starbucks, woo. They say, woo. They, they, all of a sudden, they love burnt coffee. Nobody likes burnt coffee unless they're in Starbucks. They say, woo, it's a special bean from Argentina. It's not a bean from Argentina, it's a schmuck from New York. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bigger fraud than the Starbucks organization. Is this a fraud or what? Most coffee shops, they serve you, there's a waiter, a busboy, a table, a chair. Starbucks is a shit house. No tables, no chairs, no waiter, no busboy, a burnt coffee and a cardboard cup. People are standing on line for a month and they're standing and standing, and standing for the opportunity to spend three and a half dollars for a dollar's worth of coffee. Is this true or false? You know why? Because they figured out a brilliant idea. They call it coffee latte, coffee cremier, suze. Once they hear a French word, Another six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what is coffee latte? Why is it worth five, six, seven dollars? What is coffee latte? Coffee latte is regular coffee with a touch of steamed cream in it. That amount of steamed cream is worth literally nothing. Nothing. There's no coin in the world low enough to pay for that amount of steamed cream. <laughs> it's worth literally nothing. In a regular coffee shop, they'll give you all the cream you want till you pass away. Here's cream. <laughs> There's cream all night long, you could, till you pass away, you could keep eating cream and, and you get refills till you pass away, more refills and more refills. You want a refill in Starbucks, it's another four dollars, another refill, seven dollars, three refills, there's ninety-three dollars and forty cents. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing shit house over there. What do you think? There's no tables, no chairs. And you know everything you buy in Starbucks is four times the price of any place else. You buy a, you buy a bagel in a regular coffee shop. It's 80 cents. The Starbucks is 750. <laughs> butter is extra. Cream cheese is extra. A knife to put it on is also extra. <laughs> you pay 18.50 by the time you. <laughs> and they don't. They don't just give you it. They don't give you nothing. They send you looking for it. There's no waiter, no busboy. They send you looking for everything in Starbucks. You want sugar? It's over here. You want this? It's over there. A napkin is over there. Straws are over here. Bliss is over there. You're walking around the whole. Old Jews are walking around with a tray for a month. <laughs> <laughs> the only guy at Starbucks that's not working are the people who work there. They don't move. All the customers are busy looking for everything. <laughs> Everybody is schlepping around. Did you see the sugar? Where's the butter? Did you see? It? Where's the milk? You see the milk? Where's the cream? Where's the cream? Old Jews are schlepping around for an hour and a half. You knock yourself out walking around for an hour. Then you come back to the table. He's got a sign that says, tips. You owe him money now. <laughs> He's watching you work for an hour, and you owe him money. Why does he give you a few dollars? You did his job, that Nazi bastard. <laughs> Not only that, most of the people wind up eating their drinking their coffee in the window. You know, Starbucks is the only organization in the world that, that has counters along the window that faces the street, and you're eating the bagel into the street. And everybody who walks by looks at you. You ever see that? The stools are facing the street and everybody's eating a bagel. And everybody's looking at you, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Not only that, people are cleaning up the place when they finish. The coffee shops, where some, where some poverty stricken family owns the coffee shop, they clean up the place themselves. They can afford a janitor or they do it themselves. Starbucks is a $50 billion organization and they expect you to clean up the place. Everybody who finishes their food walks around cleaning up. Elderly Jews are walking around cleaning up Starbucks. They're cleaning, let me bring this in, let me bring this out. They're all schlepping food. <laughs> it's an unbelievable thing how they get away with it. If I, I, it sounds unbelievable to me. If somebody said to you that they have a great concept for a new type of a coffee shop, 
Stop to think of it. Somebody told you there's no tables, no chairs, no waiter, no busboy. You'll drink burnt coffee from a cardboard cup, and you'll drink it and eat it in the window, and you'll clean up the place for an hour. <laughs> well, you say, hey, what a great idea for a business. You would think you'd go broke in 10 minutes. Who would believe that? But they get away with it, those son of a bitches. I see Jews standing on line in Starbucks. Jews who would never stand on line any place else. They're too proud to stand on line. They have a restaurant reservation for 7 o'clock. If it's 7, 2. Two minutes after 7, if you don't give them the table, they curse you. Every Jew becomes John Gotti. Where's my table, son of a bitch? <laughs> 10 seconds later, he's in Starbucks, and he's standing there for a week and a half. They stand there for a month. <laughs> my God, they get away with me. They tell me that I bust their head open. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the screen for a special discount for my show. You don't deserve it unless you did something for me, but I don't know what you did to deserve it. I'm giving it to you anyway. Just from the goodness of my heart, I took a liking to you. You're still not working? Do you remember me? You got a different <laughs> outfit for me? <laughs> hello. Good, how you doing? You remember Colin Quinn? Oh, hello. hello. How, how are you doing? doing? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great great to see you. See you. Terrific yeah. show. Great job. Oh, man. As good as ever. Yeah. Right now you figure that would be deteriorating a little, right? Where are you going? <laughs> why, why, why a farewell? <laughs> I'll catch a great